Rain okay. forecast for seven. Yeah, no seven rain. o'clock. No rain. No rain. Yeah, okay. It's up to you. Oh, no, no, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can make the call. Have you been waiting long? We've been waiting for you. <laughs> 15 years. Darling. <laughs> Darling. Good to see you too. Good to see you. Are we actually doing it? Or are we just sort of. Say hello. <laughs> Just we'll do nothing. <laughs> so, there's always a problem the long songs are. A long. A long. A long. <laughs> home, home they, take up, they take up a lot of space. You know, we wrote all those last three or four albums together in the studio, and there's something, you know, I felt we had something that came, you know, came out of that, but none of us really did individually, you know, and I like that. We brought things out of each other that we wouldn't have otherwise done. In terms of playing live music, um, you know, this is the most obvious, it's probably all I've got really, you know, uh, in a way, and I'm proud of all the music we've done. There's a very, there's bum, the first part bum, 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 bum. Well, no, we're talking about doing the, you're talking about doing the acoustic part as well. <laughs> Are you sure about the song part? I don't know. I'm fine. Why that figure on the trumpet? There's only one old couple, song. You know, a couple of song, old songs in their entirety. That's right. Do you know how one goes? Cinema show. The, the, the song part is. I had a funny tune. I don't know what the fuck it was. Well, I'll just try a few and see what happens. Good old cross string. Blue string. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's not with the simple. Let's do. What's easy? We're done. What time is it? Are we done today? Really? <laughs> we just started. We come. We we well, I've had a couple of tunes, then we had lunch. <laughs> it's not going to be rehearsal there, I sort of feel we're going to go too fast. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What's that tuning? All the time I was searching, nowhere to run. It started me thinking. Wondering what I could make in my life. Asking all kinds of questions to myself and never knowing the answer. Crying, crying at the top of my voice. Try, try to get out of Just, just yeah. feel that. Crying. I just feel that. Crying, crying at the top of my Crying at the top Well, let's put it this way. We haven't tried this one yet. Crying at the top of my voice. 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 Crying at the top of would be very interesting to do would be to put you in a capsule and change the position of that capsule relative to the backdrop, and almost as a caravan, as a vehicle, as a pod. And it's basically on a giant forklift truck that we build as part of the backdrop, which started off at the front of the stage like this, got picked up and did this and flew back, and, and it's shown here up in the air in this sketch, this is this thing, mm -hmm. um, that could go up and down. So you could, start, you could have it down low and, 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 and then slowly the whole band goes up and you fill the space underneath with video picture. Um, I um, do suffer quite badly from vertigo. Yeah. Well, I just thought I'd mention that before. Well, you could get off. off. Just and I have to get, I have to get a red light. <laughs> <laughs> they give you a green light. I don't mind sending you the cigarette, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I don't, you know, honestly, I just have to say that, I mean, certainly the height that is there, which is also the sort of height of the PA tires and stuff, you know. Um, I don't know. We could, well, we need to come back to that. We've always, you know, uh, been had a big visual show. In the early days, obviously, we didn't really have any helpers. We just did it ourselves. Um, back in the days of, you know, uh, Lana on a Broadway, and, and the idea sort of came with from within the group, and we expanded on, and we, we used to get people to help us, you know. But with this sort of, it very much started with us. 
And over the years, you know, you start to sort of find people who you can get your ideas through and who are, who've got pra practically minded people who can perhaps get it to the next stage. Uh, I, I need a sort of base, basic starting point, I think, for every song. Because I'll go mad otherwise. That's good. There's another couple of bars there. I'm still going. I'm still creating. For them. <laughs> you need me, don't you? Do you need more of me? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Now you've got to do it for real. Scary. <laughs> Tony and Mike, together, are more of the spirit of Genesis than, than me. You know, it's like people just don't know. They just think you know, the singer is the guy that does it all because he sings, and that's the link, and that's always been the problem. They thought Peter Gabriel did it all, and it, it really wasn't that way. And from a stage point of view and everything, you know, without people like that who can actually communicate with the crowd, you can't get anywhere. But from the point of view of the music we're doing, the writing of it, you know, I mean, uh, it's always been one of my major roles in this group is to write music. Because, you know, back in the time when Pete first left, you know, Mike and I were definitely doing the lion's share of the, of the writing. Because that's, uh, and we, even before that. But in the later part, you know, certainly Phil's co contribution came up more to a kind of level with ours. I mean, that was the thing. I'd say it was very much an even thing on those last two Genesis albums we did. The songs that people now know of Genesis, like I Can't Dance, Hold On My Heart, Invisible Touch, Mama, those kind of songs have got a lot of me in them, but they would never have happened without the other guys. A bit more. There we go. <laughs> more in. <laughs> the camera's on you, so come out, you press again. Yeah. Singing there, get me out of this cage. But he's, he's outside the cage. Well, the cage is all right. Realize he he realize 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 I mean, yeah, it's yeah, a, I suppose that's the theory, but yeah. I agree with you. I think the na natural thing is to put him behind the bars, isn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. Presumably, that, there's a possibility of me. Putting you behind bars? No, sorry, what were you going to say? Uh, <laughs> oh, go on, please. <laughs> I would be lit on stage yeah. in some way that relates to that. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So if you are up there, then I think, you know, the, if the proportions are the same, the man's end, suddenly Phil appears over there and there's red bars in front of Phil, and then I think that could be really interesting. Okay. okay. And it seems that everyone would prefer him behind the bars, right? Yeah. 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 Simple. 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 Ten million, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did my bearings first of all, so. Yeah, I know. It's high enough. got such a big curve to it at the front. The front is more curved than it certainly was originally. I mean, yeah. that bit there is extra anyhow, isn't it? Well, there's it's curve and there's curve. This is a serious curve, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's a serious curve. In the past, we've always had, sort of, you know, there's, we're in a line, really. That's right. Normally, you're, you're in a line there, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. But you won't be, really. No, I'll be further back than usual. Make it less of a radius, not such a, an acute curve. The sort of straightforward thing, which would be to use that as the thing and just curve. It's from, almost like it's almost like if, if the curve didn't curve, it sort of went. At the moment, you've got a sort of like it goes in here. Do a bit of two, we can add the additional two feet two anyway, feet and then, and, and then just adjust this front edge. Well, that's okay. I mean, you know, quite warm. 
good. Do these come this colour? No, lights? no, we, we made them that colour. Painted them that colour? Yeah. Painted them? Yes. So we bought them or not? No, we just ordered them. Ordered them, ordered them. Yeah. Oh, it's this. Yeah. Do you think the change we're going to make to the stage will be done by Monday? No, it's not it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to remember what lights used to be like, isn't it? Yeah. All this stuff. Yeah. The guy with a sort of pole banging a car lamp to try and sort of get into it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the gel burning through, you know. Well, these are really good. These have got some really nice effects on them as well, unusual effects. Yeah. Do the trip out, Dave. We found a really good thing on the brow. Oh, I see. All right. The red snake. The red snake. So, uh, <coughs> the red snake. Go on. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Now put a blue field over that with a blue wash underneath it. It's always putting a blue field. Oh, yeah. yeah I like that. Blue field there. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can get some movement going with those. You've got that all the way. All the way. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. See, I like this look. Look at that, go! That's not nice. Gorgeous. In silence and darkness. Oh, so you're not doing the first half at all, are you? OK, all right. We did most of it. OK, what should we do? <laughs> second half, second half. We don't have to do it. Well, no, wait, OK, but you've got to... Yeah, we can do it with the tape on if you want, but, I mean, it's like... Well, there's no tape if we go to, we go to the second half, which is what this. All right. I mean, we can and we're going to be rehearsing lots more times. It's, 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 a, it's a tough song for me, this one, so I was kind of, you know, not one I really want to skip. Oh, you want to carry on from the first half? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's... OK, run back the tape. Let's just do it again. No, 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 no. Yeah. What are we doing, then? So we're the beginning. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 no. I've gone to the next half now. Yeah. From the beginning, all right. No, I, I'm, I'm very happy to do it from the beginning, but, you know. You're, you're on the second half? Yeah. OK, you don't care, we'll do the second half. All right. <laughs> Four more times to run through it, if you want to run through it. Before we run through it another 30 times. Yeah, we'll go through the motions. Of, of, I know we need to do it, but it's just, it's boring. Doing it here. That's life, you know. That's, that's called rehearsal. Three, four. In the silence What are we doing? I want to show the vortex on the big screen. Yeah, let's go for it. Up here, so it's like... Okay. It's domino, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That works. <laughs> and where does Phil go in relation to this image? Well, he can go in the middle of that, you see. Okay. So his feet would be level with the back row of lights, maybe? Well, possibly. I don't know if we want to do that or not. We just see how it looks. The trouble is, it always used to be the problem is they put a light on him and then it would bleed off a bit into the screen and it would sort of spoil the effect. Maybe if I could get in front of the net rather than in front of the screen. Good luck. Well, no, it's just that it doesn't seem well, to be yeah. so high. It's not an insurance company. <laughs> no, I, I, think, so I think it'd be great if you could do that. It's just an idea, you know. That would be terrific to have you that high. Yeah. yeah. This is Nikolai, who's making our fireworks. Mike and Tony. Exploding really, am I right? We're gonna, we're gonna test a couple of flames now, and then uh, at one o'clock, if you want, we do a little shave. Can we have a, a break for lunch? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I think it's a jolly good idea. A bottle uh, of wine. Oh, sorry. You know, I'm still slightly yet to be convinced. I mean, I well, know. I have to say, the pyro's here, and we've spent some money on it, but you know, if we don't use it, we don't use it. Okay, well, I mean, I'm almost sort of saying that, I mean, no, I'm not being too empty, it's just, I just, there's something about it that's a bit kind of Aussie, at, uh, yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Nicola, are you ready to fire this? Yes. Okay. It's all, sp all sparkle. All sparkle. No yeah. bush. No, no fire. <laughs> okay, ready? Nicola? No. <laughs> no, if you want, yet go. Da 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 Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> just, uh, I, I, mean, I, won't go, I should think I'm much more higher than that, to be honest with you. It's bloody tight, isn't it? It does get bloody high. <laughs> so. um, it's, it's part of what comes, I think, sometimes when you become very famous like he has. You know, sometimes it seems to drag some of this other stuff with it. And it's a price you pay, really. That moment he decided he was going to become singer of this band was sort of the moment when kind of that everything was set in motion. And many people would have said that, you know, you, that's sort of some of the things that are going to happen, you know, are like, it will make personal life more difficult because that's what tends to happen. Singers are sort of right there in the middle of the stage. Everyone sees them. Everyone knows who they are. They can't not left alone. It's quite tough. I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> Nikolai? Nikolai? They're just testing them one by one okay, at the moment, I think. Can you do them all at once? Testing the OK. Do not fire before I tell you. OK. Yes. There's one missing. Little ones, do little, 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 back, 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 back. <laughs> it's impressive, but is it Genesis? It's, 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 sometimes it's just that sort of moment, it just takes it over a limit. With this kind of spectacle, you're always working just on the limits, as I like to say, of what's tasteful and what's not. Yeah. And you know, and I think everything we try and do is to stay within that tastefulness. I just think some of that, to me, just takes it the other side, and suddenly you see the whole thing differently. It's quite fun to watch, boom, but it I doesn't don't... do much for me in any other sense, I have to say. But I mean, I, you know. Do you know what we should get them to test? So we should get them to put one of the flame pots on the stage, and it's That's like right. a strange silhouette, you know, then, mama, ha ha, shh, silhouette, smoke, flame. <laughs> No, I always describe Tony as the conscience of the band. You know, it's not to deny that everyone else had a very, very important role and, and, and a strong writers in their own, in their own right, and that, as they've proved. But for Tony, Genesis was his solo career. It's kind of much closer to the kind of thing I do on some of my uh, solo albums, you know. So if you like the Brazilian, you should go and buy them. Um, it's... It's... which no one does. <laughs> I tend to try and take the group a little bit away from just the sort of doing just the, the straight pop songs all the time. And I, I love doing pop songs and some of those ones I've been very heavily involved in, you know, some of the ones that have been the big hits. But I kind of like... I always want to try and make certain we do a bit more of the other, you know, and the, the songs like Domino and Home by the Sea and all that. Having said that, I think the others enjoyed it as well. It's not really like that. But obviously when they're left to their own devices, as you can see really with the solo albums, they, they tend to become, both of them tend to end up doing things which are much more concise. I'm the other way, really. Given half a chance, I'll go the other way. And on my last solo album, I did a sort of, you know, I had an 18-minute song. It's just because that's what gives me pleasure, and, I, and I, I think that's what I do best. You know, just, just doing everything and sort of you know, using the sort of three, four, five chord basic stuff. I, you know, I don't mind a bit of that, but I don't want it all the time. and sort of things, and, I mean, errors, and I know there's problems probably, but it's just, uh, I just, just want to see it right. We get everything, we're used to everything. We're going to do another rehearsal tonight. Okay, so no, it's just, uh, I don't know why the sort of, so many things don't sort of happen when they should. I don't see very much, but what I, I was sort of, when I do see it, it's wrong, you know, mm. so that's, that's a bit of a shame. Visual really. size has always been very important to us, I, I don't know, it's just something I, I, I really enjoy it, and I really sort of see it, you know, and perhaps not being a very visual performer, I'm aware that we need visual help. Obviously, in the earlier days, we, we, when we prefer, obviously we developed the very light, and now that well, that look is you know is totally ubiquitous. I mean, everybody uses it hundreds and hundreds of times. When we first used it, the effect that had that first tour, suddenly you had all these lights up there, and they went from red to blue, just like that. I don't think anybody had ever seen anything like it, you know. And we just used simple little things where we just used to have half the lights in red and half the lights in green, and then alternated the lights doing that with these sort of thing, um, you know, the lights in sort of strange positions. And it just was a staggering effect because just no one had ever seen anything like it. So, you know, it's difficult perhaps to be quite as revolutionary as that ever again, you know, because everything's sort of been done, I think. But you hope to use it, use things in a way that is new. How does, does the stool sound all right? Does it sound good? Yeah, it's great, yeah. Sounds great. It's funny, yeah. Like, like, I'm that's why I'm asking them. I feel I like it. Because you know, I'm sitting there. It sounds like guys. It either sounds me, fantastic or it really sounds like we've lost our minds. It sounds strange to say it being the last 10, 12 years more recently. <laughs>
people have uh, been really a lot looser. I mean, I'm getting on better with Tony Banks now than I ever have done. I mean, I've always got on, you know. But I really, I really feel like I understand him now for the first time, certainly to this extent. I'm a lot mellower than I was. You know, I was, I was pretty difficult when he first knew me. I was certainly very difficult, so perhaps we're just sort of crossing over, you know. Uh, okay. Hi, this is Tony Banks. And I'm Mike Rutherford. I'm from College of Genesis, and you're listening to WCSX. Because <laughs> <laughs> they write it out. It's you know. WCSX. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Tony Banks. And I'm Mike Rutherford. I'm Phil Collins, we're Genesis, and you're listening to Mix 106.5. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Tony Banks. And I'm Mike Rutherford. I'm Phil Collins of Genesis, and you're listening to Mix 105. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> Hi, this is Tony Banks. <laughs> Girlie. Hi. OK, sorry. You're just jealous. You will add it in tones, OK? A little bit. Hi, this is Tony Banks. You did properly. I did. <laughs> OK. I was doing that. I thought it was a practice. A schoolmaster, you know. OK, try again. Hi, this is Mike Rutherford. I'm Phil Collins. I've got a bad stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than necessarily, why don't we listen to the sound and watch the thing without saying anything? They do the show, pretty much. On the, we do a, a song at a time, if you like. So and, and make comments at the end of each song. Then we can you know, judge the sound, and then we can also be looking at the visuals, and then we can, if we want to go through bits on the song, do it like that. Well, actually, the PA is further back than usual, but it was in the place. Is that because of... Is it not? No, no same, it's in the same place. Exactly the same place. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame you for that. Else? Why are my, <laughs> my rain covers in, in Denmark? Uh, because they, because weren't... they were put on the wrong track. No, no, they, well, but they, were... they weren't made in time to get to Brussels. <sighs> so you See? get your excuses together, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, Same no, one, no, no. you know? It's not going to so rain. So if it rains? It's not going to rain. All right, good. Fun being a group. That's fun being a group. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. You're very cool. I admire that. Yeah. You're very cool. I thought we were going to, I just thought it was sort of over and we had a chance. Once it went like that. Tell you some wearing earrings, you can see that look. <laughs> All right. Yeah? Yeah, go. 